All right, everyone. The air airplane freakout lady apologized. Let's react to this. Not long ago, there was that viral freakout on the airplane with the lady claiming that a passenger on board was not real. It was a <laughs> guys. You didn't expect to get like fifty million views. Like everybody knows about her, bro. Everybody with the freaking phone knows about the airplane freak out lady. Huge meltdown and it really caught the internet by storm. It was a wild situation. I know, right? Like, I'm, I'm not sure if she knew she was being recorded or anything, guys. Legit, but that dude is not real. But everybody's memeing about her, guys. What would you, what'd you guys do? Would you guys react like that? I wouldn't that had everyone confused and giggling but it also really tickled the curiosity bone of a lot of unhinged lunatics i don't know how better to say that i, I can't be more charitable than that there were so many people that started to speculate that she was onto something this was all a ploy <laughs> hey, it's a sign it's a sign that aliens are coming guys for real hold on did i get a text oh, yeah, it's a Aliens are here. State ...with their 15-minute city agenda where they're sneaking robot android soulless husks disguised as people on our airline flights. <laughs> There's so many memes, bro. She could, uh, we talked about this yesterday. She could start a, a career off of this, bro. Like a, le a legit, legit social media career. And only this... But she's already a marketing executive, so, like, what's the point? ...woman was able to see behind the curtain for the truth of the matter, calling out a fake person. <laughs> and it was just this crazy conspiracy web about how, like, she's actually correct, there are fake people on these planes, and she's on to something. And then they even started making up their own fanfic about how she's missing, the government must have found her... So we could start an anime or something about this, yo. Tracked her down, taken her out behind the barn, and put her down like a sick animal. Like just executed her for revealing the truth and opening her third eye with the Sharingan. Okay, that's a little bit far-fetched. Not gonna lie, but yeah. <laughs> bro, he goes on this the most different tangents. I, I, I just gotta say that, bro. Just pure pandemonium. This opened Pandora's box of mental illness on Twitter in particular. But... I'm happy to say we finally have closure. She was never missing. She's been totally fine, just a little embarrassed about the situation, and today released an apology video. Yo, she looks so different, guys. But that, that looks like her, guys. That's right, an apology video. Not only that, but body cam footage of her escort out of the airport also dropped, so we really got the whole kit and caboodle on this. Dang, bro, you guys are freaking going off and investigating her, dog. I mean, I, I was interested in what she was going through as well, but we're gonna give her a little privacy here, man. You guys are showing up at her house and stuff, man. Not cool. Case here. In the footage, she seems drunk, a bit belligerent, but that's not 100% confirmed. I wasn't there. I didn't run a fucking toxicology report or breathalyze her, or have her walk a straight line or anything like that. And maybe she... Maybe she is, maybe she isn't, guys. But it, that's how it seems. Just using my astute little peepers here, that's the- Bro, you got some vocabulary words, bro. You must have ate- This guy must have aced, like, a uh, Math or whatever, bro. Like, for real. I mean, uh, English, dog. Impression I get- Must got A pluses. It is, she may have been hitting the alcohol a little hard before going on the flight, which would help explain the outburst. So, I want to show you a little bit of both of these things, and also what sparked this whole incident was allegedly she had misplaced her AirPods, she lost them, and accused a fellow passenger of stealing them. So, she just started pointing the finger, like, this nefarious, no good pile of shit just stole my AirPods, so he's not real. <laughs> that's, a, real at my that's a part that makes it funny. If he said he stole, if she said... They stole it, bro. It would not go viral, right, guys? That, that would be boring. Motherfucker's not real. That's what started all of this, I guess. Anyway, let's check out the body cam footage, and then we'll see the apology video. Also, what an incredible year for apology videos. This is like the thousandth one that's dropped this year. If apology videos were... Man, you're going viral, making like a semi-funny clip, and now you gotta apologize as well. Renewable. Hey, they did kind of disrupt the airplane. That makes sense.
full energy source, we would be able to power the entire fucking globe from just this year's load of apology videos alone. I don't care if I'm ever gonna fly with y'all ever again. I want to know what happens to this flight right here. Hey, this is the after action post game report. It's me from the future. I'll go ahead and tell you what happened to that flight. It had a completely safe, uneventful, scheduled flight and landed at its destination A-OK. -okay. That's a good part, man. We don't, we don't need nothing extra going on. Despite what a couple of weirdos on Twitter were trying to circulate, the plane was totally fine. Nothing happened on the flight, as a, aside from her getting escorted off and causing a major delay and a headache for all the passengers on board. It was totally fine. Like, everything turned out okay. It's I'm sure there's like a little bit of chatter about what was going on, guys. Like, yo, what are you? <laughs> or like uh, you, the person that uploaded it was like, yo, look at these views, yo. It's not like she was some kind of prophet who predicted that the plane would have a problem. That's not gonna make it to Orlando. Let's it's go. I'm going to. Can I just leave? Y'all need to escort me out? Yeah. Just you off? had y'all warning. So, keep walking. Oh, yeah, until y'all see that fight blow up. Okay. It's clear she's very distressed, and it's also very clear that this is not a moment she's proud of. Dang, bro. The extra footage, man. She must be going through like a psychosis or something, bro. I know a lot about psychosis, but, you know, I, I went through it myself, man, so. She made that much clear in her apology video as well. This is one of those very unfortunate things that was captured on camera, and we don't know exactly the cause, whether it was alcohol-related or something else, but it is a, like, I do feel bad for her. In the modern age, everything gets filmed, so you're always going to see someone's lowest moment if it happens in public. That's just the way the world works now. And I was thinking about this when watching her apology video. I have a phobia of flying. If I happen to be in the airport, or heaven forbid, on the aircraft when this happened, I probably would have had an even larger outburst and freakout that would have eclipsed hers. I would have stole the spotlight because I would have been fucking losing my mind. If this lady stood up and started- Are you sure, bro? Are you sure? Guys, do you believe him, guys? I don't know, I don't know. ...saying the plane's going down, that motherfucker's not real. All rational thoughts going out my noodle. I'm waving my arm. I, I personally would just try to blend in, guys. Like, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be overreacting like he said he would. I, I'd just be chilling. I'd be like, yo, uh, I just don't want to, you know, I don't want to get kicked out the plane, bro. Nah, man. I'm around, I'm fucking screaming. I'm going to sound like Donnie out of the wild thornberries. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just begging to get off of the plane. But anyway, let me show you her apology video. But before getting into it, I want to mention something. A lot of people, I guess, either recognized her or found information about her. Or, or I'm guessing. Yeah, there's a whole, like, TikTok investigation going on about what happened, guys. I was like, dang. ...found information about her because she mentions that it was pretty invasive how people, like, got a hold of her information. People figured out that she's a marketing executive. So... That's a pretty high position, guys. She got a new phone and everything, but everybody's chilling with like 50k in the bank. Big fan of here. They got negative three dollars. There was another narrative that spun like a week or two ago about how this whole thing was actually just a publicity stunt. And I just want to knock on your empty little noggin here and try and figure out- Empty, bro! It's not empty! Dog. Come on now. ...about how you could ever run with such a delusional idea. This is a horrible publicity publicity stunt that that wouldn't do any good for her or her company she's not advertising anything Nothing. she's not putting a product out there in front of people's eyes this is pretty clearly not an attention seeking publicity stunt for her hey it's all in the back of our minds but you know i'm not sure if she knew someone was fil gonna film it or whatever is like you know just one of those kind of unplanned moments it's lots her marketing company like, I don't know how anyone would even think for a second that that's a plausible explanation. Just just sit down for a moment, really just marinate in, in your swamp ass, and, and form an individual thought. And you just insult me, uh, like, what the heck? Why would this be a publicity stunt? Like, damn near landing on the no-fly list? F for what? <laughs> it, like, there's, there's nothing good Mama. that comes out of this for her. So I don't know how anyone thought that somehow we had all been had. 
They they pulled the pulled the rug out from under us. They they bamboozled us. This was all just a marketing agency's calculated play. Somehow, it's so dumb, so fucking dumb. I wanted. There's a conspiracy going on, right, guys? I'm gonna mention that real quick. Anyway, here's your apology video. As you know, I have been unwilling to speak on the viral video, but I do finally. You did it when TMZ after offered her money, right, guys? Now she's she's all for it. Feel my dog just jumped on the bed, man. She never jumps on my bed, guys. <laughs> she's chilling, she's chilling. It's time. First and foremost, I want to take full accountability for my actions. They were completely unacceptable. And I want to apologize to everyone on that plane, especially those that had children aboard. Yeah, bro, like, everybody's scrutinizing, like, bro, I, I say she makes a TikTok if she cares about that, and, you know, just continues on the legacy. You guys seen it with the Antoine Wat, Wat, Antoine Dotson guy, though? Like, uh, he quit, he quit after a while, but, you know, he, I say ride the rave of the viralness and just keep going, right, guys? And imagine. Uh, she might not, like, it. she might just like her regular job of being a marketing executive. I'm going through that and trying to explain to your kid what in the world just happened. Overall, I think this was a totally fine apology video. It seems like she's very regretful of the whole thing because obviously this was very public. And she just apologizes to everyone involved in the situation. She takes accountability. She seems sincere. I don't have any real criticism or critique of the apology. Yeah, she's being level-headed. That's good. That's good. Sorry, I just had to take a picture of the, the dog. G itself, I don't know where I'd put it on the internet apology tier list, but I think overall... You gotta make one, bro. Make one, dude. She did a fine job of coming forward and just being like, yeah, you know, we all have some very bad moments. Unfortunately, mine was very public and captured on camera for the whole world to see in fucking 4K. Now she's like a a she's like a B list cel celebrity of the... um. But accidental, vi accidental viral moments, right, guys? Right, like it's just unfortunate circumstances. She also does mention that she found a lot of the memes that spawned from this to be comical, but then also mentions that there was a disturbing invasion of her privacy as well. Understandable to be upset about something like yeah, it's not fun, it's not fun, bro. I, I ain't trying to have that happen, guys. That's a big fear of mine as well. That too, for sure. So. It's nice that she did come forward to finally put an end to all of, like, the conspiracy theories surrounding this situation. She didn't really go into detail on exactly what happened. So even the whole AirPod theory is still, I guess, speculation. Yeah, we don't know. She doesn't want to explain. And that is fine, bro. Let her get her privacy. Since it didn't come from her in this apology video. But it is nice that she came forward to clear the air a little bit here and hopefully put the kibosh on all these weird conspiracy theories surrounding the situation. It's not like she had to come forward, like, obligated to make an internet statement. By no means did she need to do this, but it is appreciated that she did decide to just to issue some kind of statement on the whole thing since so many people were captivated by it. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over the situation here because now there's some closure to all of it. All right. The people who are surprised that that was a good apology is not a YouTuber and a normal everyday person like us. I do respect her coming forward and apologizing. Yeah, same here. She made apology better than 95% of YouTubers. Man. Everybody, everybody's blaming, uh... But yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. And I'll see you guys next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and, and uh, yeah. Do all my reactions live on Twitch, check out uh, Penguin Zero in the description, and I'll see you later guys, later, later.